The objective of the laser operator position is to operate the laser cutter. The equipment used includes a vacuum lift, a laser cutter, and work tables. The tools used are an orbital grinder, a 90 degree angled grinder, a soft pad big grinder, a grate pounder for cleaning slag off of the grate, a handheld pounder, gauging tools, and a flat tool to help separate pieces of sheet metal. The materials used include sheet metal and various parts. The personal protective equipment used includes hearing protection when pounding, safety glasses, gloves, and a floor mat. The work environment is an inside work environment with heat and no air conditioning. An air sock brings heat or fresh air into the work area. The worker observed was 5 feet 9 inches tall. The work tasks for the laser operator job begin by picking up the sheet metal using the vacuum lift. Then the worker uses the tool to help separate sheet metal pieces. Next, the worker gets the cut parts from the grate and stacks those parts. After this is completed, the worker carries the stacks of parts to the work table. Workers then get and fold the remaining scrap sheet metal. Next, the worker will position the remaining sheet metal in the bin, and then get the remaining sheet metal tabs from the grate. The worker then positions the remaining sheet metal tabs in the bin. Moving forward, the worker uses the vacuum lift controls to position the sheet metal on the grate. The worker then activates the laser cutter. Next, the worker smooths the part surface using the orbital grinder. Finally, the worker transfers the stack of parts to the pallet. Irregular tasks included setting up the laser cutter, gauging and tagging parts as needed, and removing slag as needed. There were several ergonomic risk factors observed during the laser operator process. Repeated and sustained exertions were rated as a medium-low pace. Hands were in steady motion and exertion to get and grind parts. Pauses in hand activity were observed while waiting for the laser cutter to cycle, although the wait time varies. Sustained exertions included continuous standing and walking. Forceful exertions were required to lift, carry, and position parts. They were also required to operate grinding tools. Awkward postures were present in the form of torso flexion, neck flexion, and extended arms to get sheet metal tabs and parts. Additionally, torso lateral bending and flexion to separate sheet metal was observed. Neck flexion and forearm pronation were observed while grinding. Torso and neck lateral bending elevated arm and wrist extension to position sheet metal was also observed. Additionally, torso lateral bending, torso flexion, and extended reach to position a stack of parts was observed. Finally, wrist extension to lift and carry parts was observed. The mechanical or localized contact stress observed was contact stress between the palms of the hands and the edges of the parts and sheet metal. It is important to note that gloves are worn. The recommendations for the laser operator include 
Investigate long-handled tools to grasp parts and or pull parts and tabs towards the worker to decrease posture stress. Investigate adjustable height and tilt work tables to decrease posture stress. Finally, investigate the use of cameras on the hoist to aid with the placement and pickup position of the sheet metal to decrease posture stress.